let us read and find out author's view on stress and how to manage stress. Stress is nothing but mental tension or anxiety which is caused by the work by the work at hand. This happens when one is not able to deal with that work. At that time, stress happens. For example, a student who has no aptitude for subject is compelled to take it up either because of parental pressure or because of pressure from peer group or due to perceived importance of the subject itself. When he or she find it difficult to cope with it and want to change the external pressure denies him or her such a change. This situation leads to stress. No work is done well when one's mind is under stress. This inability to do well leads to diffidence. Gradually, this diffidence leads to the feeling of inferiority. Person with such Inferiority, complex, isolate themselves and succumbed to stress. This leads to inefficiency, loss of interest. And above all, to a total breakdown, physical, mental, emotional and moral. Therefore, the moment one notice that one is stressed, that is, one is not able to cope with work, studies, problems, etc. The first step one should take is to find out the cause of the problem with a calm and cool mind. One should take a break and 
allocate time to analyze where went wrong. If one is not able to do this on his or her own, one should not hesitate to get the help of someone who can help. One should be open-minded and honest about one's weakness and deficiencies. It is better to share a problem and find solution to it than struggle without results and feel miserable. To see that pressure or tension does not build up and haunt a person, one should program one's work. One should, ta one should take up a task which is within one's capacity and find out an easy way to accomplish one's goal. It is important to choose one goal at a time and slowly moving to other goal. This can be achieved if one has a calm and balanced mind and lots of patience, one must first complete the task which one finds comparatively easier to do. This will promote self-confidence, development of self-confidence leads to an improved perspective This enables one to deal with more difficult problems and solve them. One will then find that there is no problem without a solution. With this realization, Stress will automatically vanish. Another reason that cause stress in today's world is an urge to reach the top and 
be successful. This rat race is often prompted by greed and jealousy rather than by an estimate chin of one's own ability. All the people around the world want to be on top. If ambition is not supported or complemented by suitable ability or capacity, it leads to failure, thus creating negative feelings and undesirable attitudes. If we have not self-confidence, there are high chances of getting failed. And step by step, we can finish any task. When things do not happen as one wishes, anger take over. An angry person cannot take right actions. Often, Actions taken in a fit of anger leads to clashes, quarrels and disputes which cause problem not only to the individual but to his or her family and friends also. Change of work now and then make one feel refreshed. It is here that Hobbies play a very important role in shaping one's personality. If anyone has any hobby or likes something to do, he or she must include it in timetable. A long stint of mental work should be followed by some physical work which will reduce the pressure on mind and improve one's mental efficiency. Listening to the music which one likes, taking a long walk in congenial environment, and pursuing a hobby 
of one's choice are some of the easier and simpler means to avoid the evil effect of stress we have so far seen how to manage stress let us now find out where the author suggests about doing right things at a right time what is the meaning what is that is managing time so that we are not stressed removal of stress by itself will not lead to unqualified success unless there is efficient utilization of time at one's disposal in an extremely competitive world one who manages one time efficiently scores over who don't it is important to have a timetable and manage things accordingly so that stress can be removed we should understand that time is precious and valuable we should be discreet in its use and how ones do it get into the habit of making a time plan a time plan is an advanced plan of all the activities to be performed in the allotted time this is how you can prepare a time plan list all activities to be performed at a certain time example in the morning preparing breakfast going to work etc second point underline all the activities which need to be done by at a definite time example reaching office on time or dropping a child at the bus stop one should ma maintain all the plans according to the time slot available and through which they haven't feel burden 
or stressed at all. Make an estimate of the time required for various activities, example, cooking 40 minutes, studying 1 hour, etc. Next, arrange the activities in the sequence in which they need to be done. Keep in mind the schedule of other family members and make necessary adjustments as and when required. Last, once you have listed out your priorities, write them down. This is your time. Plan and put it where you can see it on daily basis and follow your plan. Exercise. It does have question answer in it. I will only ask questions to you. You have to do answer by yourself. Question number one is. Give one reason why a student can suffer from the stress. Second question. What happens when a person is stressed? Give three points. Third question. Mention three ways by which one can overcome stress. Fourth question. What is the ill effect of being unduly ambitious? Last question. Mention two effects that physical work and listening to music have on human mind. Thank you so much. Namaste.